You did it this way. So you put the hydrogen on the carbon because you weren't sure which one was better. Well, drawing the Lewis structure will tell you. If it's a tie, then you can submit both answers. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Remember, I like to do the terminals first. So, how's our octet? Carbon. What's that? Carbon. Carbon doesn't have an octet. Let's fix that. Now how are things going? Good. Good. Is everybody fairly happy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's look at the charges. Formal charges. What's the formal charge here? Uh, zero. Okay. It should be six. You count one, two, three, four, five, six. It should be six because it's six column in the periodic table. Oh, this one. Zero. It should be in column four. It's one, two, three, four. Good. This one? Zero. Zero. It should be in column one. There's only one dot. Good. How about this one? Yeah. Uh oh. Which one do we like better? Zero. What happens if you only submit one of them instead of both of them? Yeah, you want to pick the very best one usually. If you if there is a very best so one. So you just want to choose the one with the central carbon synthesis in the middle? Is that the better one necessarily or not necessarily? No, not necessarily. They both have carbons in the middle. Okay. Do you want the one that has carbon as the negative? Yeah, that's what I mean. Carbon, would you rather have carbon negative or oxygen negative? Well, you, actually, oxygen. you probably want the central atom to be more stable, so you probably want to choose the oxygen on the outside of it. Hey, you, you're, yeah. We are going to choose the one on the right, but not for that reason. Okay. Which is more electronegative, carbon or oxygen? Carbon. Oxygen. Oxygen. Going towards fluorine is more electronegativity. So I'm going to raise this star and star this one. We'd rather have the negative charge on an oxygen rather than a carbon. Just slightly. So would you be wrong if you put that one up on the, as a test? If you put this one, you would be less than optimal. Yeah, a couple <laughs> points off. Yeah. What is the trend for electronegativity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Electronegativity goes up and to the right. So fluorine is the largest, francium is the smallest. Is that like EA? Is that what EA it says? follows like ionization energy, electron affinity, it follows Z effective. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Why doesn't the octet <coughs> rule apply for hydrogen? The octet rule doesn't apply for several things. Three categories are, all of you maybe more than three categories. Uh, alkalis, alkali earths, and the borons family doesn't apply. Also doesn't apply for uh, any metal. I guess another way you could say it, it doesn't apply for hydrogen, boron, or any metal. It applies for all non-metals, so sort of. The boron group, the whole boron group is, is going to have what's called an incomplete <coughs> octet. They're going to have less than an octet. So is the whole hydrogen group and the beryllium group and all the transition metals and all the lanthanides. Yeah. But they also compose less overall basic structure, so that's why we're less involved with them. Yeah. So why do you want it on the more electronegative? Why do you want uh, electronegative uh, elements prefer a negative charge? Okay. Elect non electro the less electronegative you are, the less it prefers that negative charge. Okay. So if you had to choose between carbon and oxygen, you'd rather put it on oxygen.